You're listening to Broken Mold Ministries Streaming Media, where the bits and bites shout for the joy and praise of Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Bob at BrokenMoldMinistry.org, coming to you yet again from our own little matrix. And I wanted to cover something that seems to grow greater and greater and greater importance is how Christians, quote unquote, act. You know, this you have to have the faith all the way through you. You don't just say the sinner's prayer and say, well, that's it, my credit card's good. No, 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 no. You have to bear the fruit as well because the fruit shows who you are inside. Do you know that the number one cause of atheism on the planet is the way Christians act? Oh, goodness. That's why it's got to be covered. It's got to be looked into. So we're going to dedicate a long and in several part message on the way Christians act. This will be a study to improve your walk and your outward image and improve your faith even for yourself. Okay, we want to make sure that we're representing Christ, not ourselves. How can we make sure this is going to be covered in this lesson? Okay, the way you act, the way people see. People see your faith by what you act like. People see your faith by how you fellowship. How do you get along with others? People see your faith by how you work. Are you diligent? Are you a quitter? Do you give up easy? People see your faith by how you live your life. Do you enjoy and praise always, good and bad? I, that's very important. People see your faith by your household. When they come to visit you or come call on you for whatever reason, they see your house and see what is beneath your hand and how you seek to rule it. People see your faith by what matters to you. What bothers you? How does it bother you? What pleases you? How does it please you? Why does it please you? What things matter? Always, as a Christian, be careful. Think before you act. Our grace, the gift of grace that has been given upon us, is not a credit card for stupidity. Blatantly go on and on and on. No, it's not. <sighs> be careful. Think before you act, Christians. Okay? Because what do you really wish to be seen and heard as a person of true faith? Do you want them to see the framework of somebody of faith? Or do you want them to see the framework of the world? How do you wish to be representing yourself even? You're in the package. You're in your flesh. But you've surrendered to Christ. If you are a Christian, this is true of you. And will be shown in how you wish to represent yourself. Oh, let me help you. But let me get myself first out of the way. So that I can help you with the strength of Christ. You know, it's... This lesson is going to give you an ability to be a well-grounded Christian so that you can think before you act and you have more faith and more authority with your faith. Intelligent and well-grounded people can act as if they are well-balanced and should be heard and seen. These that are learned, these that are wise, should be heard and seen. Those that are foolish, blind to the truth, can't teach the truth, they can't grasp the truth, so they lead themselves into folly. Now, which are you? Because people of authority speak and act with authority because they are well balanced. They measure themselves with the word of God. They should be heard and seen. As Christians, that's what you're looking for. You want to have the authority within you. Move yourself out of the way and let Christ speak through you in love. And then you can act with authority in Christ. Amen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a of what's coming. 
I wanted to make sure that how Christians act can be a taught feature, can be a way that we're all going to grow. Goodness, I believe even I'm going to learn from this message. Can you imagine that? <laughs> well, my friends, I am not dead yet, so I'm going to still continue to learn. All right. Praise always in good times and bad times. Enjoy the series. Thank you.